Well, welcome back, my friends. This is the final video of this finished file work on this vine pattern. What I did is I uploaded a video on the final file work. Well, I thought I uploaded it, but it didn't upload. I lost it. So, I had a customer's knife here that was going to get some file work, something similar. This is a really, really fine pattern, but nonetheless, we're at the finish stage. So all I'm doing now is I am actually taking this blocky pattern with these thorns cut in it. And I believe I went over how to, I cut those thorns in there. I just took a triangle file and I went in on the front or the back Actually, it's both the front and the back on opposite sides to give it a thorny look. But what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm rounding over these lines and thinning out these thorns so it looks more symmetrical and nice and cur smooth curves instead of these really hard facets. So all I'm doing is I'm just coming in here on the edge and I'm just cutting these little vines down and shaping everything up to give it a nice clean flow and this is you going you want to take your time because you're at the stage now where you don't really want to file a lot it's just really small detail work just cleaning all the lines up getting everything nice and smooth making everything flow nice and clean making all your file marks blend together Because when you sand the top of it off, you'll be able to really see it pop. Right now, I've got some red dicum on there, and that helps with the layout and all the other things. But that all that dicum will come off of there. So all we're doing now is just making everything nice and neat and clean. This takes a little time. Checking to make sure I've got the right depth on everything. I need to cut a little bit more in the vine or then the thorn. I can come in here and make that line more pronounced. Making sure I've got a nice cut in the thorn. Like so. And I'll come in behind that thorn and round everything over. Oh, yeah. Come in here like so. Come off of that thorn there and give it a little, little bit more depth. And we'll come behind it, clean it up. Like so. Yeah, that's one side. You can see how smooth all those lines are now how blocky it is on these backsides. So I'll stop you.
I'll get this side done and we'll sand it and take a look at it. Awesome. All right, there it is. Let's sand it and see what it looks like. I think we're gonna be surprised. We'll just take a uh, small sanding block and we'll go down it and see what it looks like. See what we got. See if we need to make any adjustments. I believe we got a winner. Switch sanding blocks here a second. Let's take a look at that. Let me look and see what you all can see. Because I like to look too. Oh yeah. I think she turned out just, just absolutely perfect. Oh yeah. Awesome. Just awesome. I think that's gonna work. What do y'all think? Now we'll do the back side, back here. Get all that took to give you a scale of what I'm working with. You can see that's my finger. That's how small that vine really is. It's not that big. That's a gut hook right there. So the vine actually starts here and goes all the way down through there thumb jibbing, and then more file work. So this is a lot of file work, but it's so for a special client. So there's the finished file work, vine pattern. I hope you all enjoy it. And to give you a heads up on uh, what the community file work finished up like, let me get you a Get the knives up here and hold them together. You can see them. I think they turned out absolutely gorgeous. Here we go. Oh, yeah. All five vine patterns cut in. I think they turned out awesome. Just a little bit of detail and clean up. These knives are ready for the forge. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate y'all coming by and watching this last little finish up video of the file work. We'll set up, get them ready for the forge, and we'll do some handle stabilization, some wood stabilization. That's going to be a nice video. Y'all get to watch me and learn how to stabilize different materials in a vacuum chamber. Until then, everybody be safe and God bless. Thank you for coming by.